Hi Aries, this is your January 2022 reading, Universal Energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Aries for January 2022 in love, Universal Energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Aries. For January 2022, in love, universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Aries. For January 2022, in love, show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment and share these videos if this does not resonate with you check your moon rising and venus sign videos i do not read reversals so aries aries this is the mutual point of interest between you and your partner maybe you mention it to your partner and it's on both you guys's minds Maybe your partner mentioned it to you and it's on both you guys' minds. Or some external source has both you and your partner feeling this way, thinking this way, or wanting to take this action. This is the mutual point of interest between you. Aries, this is you. This is your partner. So... Aries, I want to say that no matter where these cards fall, it can be vice versa or someone in you guys' environment. For January 2022, the mutual point of interest between you and your partner, Aries, is the Nine of Wands. Aries, Leo or Sag, this is you being guarded and standing your ground. You have a stance. You meant what you said. You said what you meant. You're not willing to bend, concede, meet halfway, eye to eye, or anything. But this is also a card of you saying, you know what? I'm tired. I'm wounded. I'm down for the count. But I still have a little fight in me left. I'm not giving up. Being persistent. But this is also a card of you having your walls up guards up you're not trusting a little suspicious here so aries listen either you're telling me that someone here is guarding something someone here is highly suspicious and maybe just don't trust and have their guard up someone is going to be persistent or someone is standing their ground clarify the nine of wands for aries and their partner clarify the nine of wands for aries and their partner clarify the nine of wands for Aries and their partner. It is clarified with the magician. Could be dealing with an Aquarius, but you're trying to manifest, trying to make something happen. And you have all the tools and resources available to you to manifest whatsoever you will. You have the fire element, the air element, the water element, the earth element, and the ethers. So with great focus and intent, you can manifest. Could be dealing with an Aquarius, but someone here is trying to make something happen. Clarify the magician for Aries and their partner. Clarify the magician for Aries and their partner. Clarify the magician for Aries and their partner. It is clarified with the tower. The tower is Aries and Scorpio's energy. This is something that you don't see coming. Something that catches you completely off guard. Something that just rocks the foundation of you guys' relationship. This is a shock in our moment. A moment of revelation. Now this can be a shocking shakeup or a breakup. So Aries, listen, very well could be manifesting a shocking surprise here. Maybe trying to keep it under wraps and guard it. Could also be, you know, trying to manifest something coming out because someone is highly suspicious or a breakup. Clarify the tower for Aries and their partner. Clarify the tower for Aries and their partner. Clarify the tower for Aries and their partner. It is clarified with the Ace of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is truth. This is clarity. This is communication. Now, this could be the sword of decision, the sword of victory. But this could also be the sword that one reels to sever a relationship. So, Aries, listen. 
Hmm. You know, someone could be persistent here wanting to manifest some type of exposure here of some type of truth, okay? Some type of shocking revelation of some type of truth here. Could want to manifest a breakup or use the sword to sever, okay? Or even making a decision, okay? Because someone could be highly suspicious here. We'll see. Aries, you have the Ten of Wands. You have the Four of Swords. You have the Knight of Cups. Your partner has the Two of Swords. Your partner has the World. And your partner has... The Nine of Swords. So Aries, listen. Hmm. The mutual point of interest in what's on both you guys' minds here. You know, someone could be persistent here, okay? Trying to manifest maybe a shocking surprise here. And maybe reveal something here. Because it could very well could be that someone is keeping something under wraps. And they're wanting the truth to come out, okay? But on the flip side of that, it can be that. Okay, let me start over child someone could be guarding something because it is a surprise okay and wanting it to come out at the right time okay some type of truth coming out here but on the flip side of that someone could be highly suspicious and trying to manifest some type of revelation of some type of truth coming out here okay someone could just be highly suspicious and feel like hey i just want to break up i want to use this sword to sever so we'll see okay let's just hope it's a surprise Aries, you have the Ten of Wands. Aries, Leo or Sag. Something is difficult. Something is heavy. Something feels like a lot of work. Something feels like the weight of the world on your shoulders. Something is a burden here for you, Aries. Now, this is a ten, so this is an ending. This is you wanting to release this burden. Clarify the Ten of Wands for Aries. Clarify the Ten of Wands for Aries. Clarify the Ten of Wands. For Aries, it is clarified with the Queen of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This queen is a no nonsense type of queen. She already knows the truth. She'll let you speak your truth to bring more clarity, but she has no problems with cutting people, places, and things out of her life that no longer serve her. So, Aries could be dealing with Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or someone with air prominent in their chart. However, you could be taking on the energy of this Queen of Swords and cutting something out because you're burdened by it here, okay? And you're wanting to release this burden, so you may be doing some cutting. Clarify the Queen of Swords for Aries. Clarify the Queen of Swords for Aries. Clarify the Queen of Swords for Aries. It is clarified with the Four of Swords twice. Aries, I'm, a, I'm sorry, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, this is you taking a break, resting, recovering, meditating, praying, recharging your crystals. So Aries, listen, you can tell me that, hey, you're meditating on something here, it's burdensome and you're thinking about cutting something off, or you're telling me that, hey, I'm releasing this burden, I'm cutting off and we're now on a break here, okay? Could also be cutting off so that you can release the burden and recover, Aries, you have the Four of Swords again, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is you taking a break, resting, recovering, meditating, praying, recharging your crystals. So Aries, like I said, you guys could be on a break here. You could be meditating on something or trying to recover. Clarify the Four of Swords for Aries. Clarify the Four of Swords for Aries. Clarify the Four of Swords for Aries. It is clarified with the Three of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is heartbreak. This is pain. This is suffering. This is agony caused by a third party situation. So when I say third party, yes, a romantic third party. But this could also be meddling family members, friends, co-workers, neighbors, anyone being involved in you guys' relationship that shouldn't be that is causing you heartbreak. So Aries, you're hurt and maybe trying to recover here. But you can tell me that you're on a break and you cut this person off because there was a third party. Aries, you have the Knight of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is someone coming into you or you're coming into someone to apologize, to offer your cup of love and make the romantic gesture. 
So Aries, someone is saying, I'm sorry. Someone is trying to heal things, mend things, work things out. May even be coming in with a romantic gesture. <clears throat> uh -huh. Clarify the Knight of Cups for Aries. Clarify the Knight of Cups for Aries. Clarify the Knight of Cups for Aries. It is clarified with the Empress. Could be dealing with a Libra or a Taurus, but the Empress signifies beauty, fertility, creativity, nurturing energy, love, abundance, growth, and development. This is a pregnant woman. She is symbolic of the Mother Earth. She takes the seed of something and nurtures it so that it grows abundantly. Could be dealing with a Libra or a Taurus. Could be dealing with a spouse because the Empress is a married, stable, committed person. Could be dealing with the parent of your child or someone who's expecting. You know, this can be about your abundance, but it could also be about nurturing the relationship. Clarify the Empress for Aries. Clarify the Empress for Aries. Clarify the Empress for Aries. It is clarified with the Ace of Wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is a brand new, passionate, creative endeavor. And this can be the spark of a new idea. This can be some type of exciting, passionate communication, exciting, passionate action. But this one is symbolic of the male phallic and using the male phallic to be intimate. So brand new, passionate beginnings. Aries, you ought to see the wrinkles on my brow right now. That's giving me a headache. It really is giving me a headache. Listen. You're telling me one of two things here. All of this hurt has happened, cutting, and you guys are on a break. Yet someone could be coming in to apologize, wanting to nurture the relationship here and start a passionate new beginning after this. Hmm. Or Aries, someone is apologizing here for having started a passionate new beginning. And you can be dealing with the spouse, this baby mama, this Libra, this Taurus, but... Is someone expecting because of this passionate new beginning that they started and they're apologizing here because they caused you hurt to the point where you're wanting to cut it off because it's too hard to bear. It's very burdensome here. Aries. I feel like you've had it, okay? I feel like you're trying to manifest waking up and using this sword to sever because you're telling me here and you're cutting them off. Aries, listen, your partner has the two of swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is your partner needing to make a decision, but they're in the dark about some things. Some things they just refuse to see, refuse to acknowledge, a lack of information, block communication. So it's hard for them to make an informed decision in this position. But this is also a card of your partner being closed off, blocked off, not wanting to see, wanting to ignore, wanting to turn a blind eye. So Aries, either your partner is indecisive here or they're blocking. Clarify the two of swords for Aries, partner. Clarify the two of swords for Aries, partner. Clarify the two of swords for Aries, partner. It is clarified with the eight of pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is mastering their craft, perfecting their skills, trades, and abilities. This is your partner throwing themselves into their work. But this can also speak to them being willing to work on it or put in the work. So Aries, listen, your partner could tell me that, you know, I'm indecisive on whether or not we're going to work this out or be able to work past this. Your partner could tell me that, you know, I just don't know. I have blindfolders on. I don't know if Aries is going to want to work this out. Or your partner is saying that they're just blocking, okay? And maybe focusing on work here, throwing themselves into work here. Aries, your partner has the world. So your partner could be at a distance from you, either emotionally or physically at a distance. Your partner may have traveled recently or will travel in the near future. But the world symbolizes closing out a cycle to start a new cycle, closing out a chapter to start a new chapter. So Aries, listen, your partner could tell me that, hey, a cycle is closing out here. Your partner could tell me that there's distance between you guys, emotional distance, geographical distance, or someone is wanting to come back around again. Clarify the world for Aries, partner. Clarify the world for Aries, partner. Clarify the world for Aries, partner. 
It is the world. The world. Yeah, cycle is closing out here. And there's distance between you guys. Yes. But is someone trying to come back around again here? Clarify the world for Aries, partner. Clarify the world for Aries, partner. Clarify the world for Aries, partner. It is clarified with the Ten of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is your partner feeling backstabbed and betrayed, humiliated, devastated, completely let down, completely let down. This is a 10, so this is an ending, an ending in betrayal. So Aries, I feel like, listen, I feel like they caused you a betrayal, okay? I feel like, yes, they want that cycle to close out, but wanting to come back around again, because here it is. But Aries, they may feel devastated because your answer is to completely close out this cycle with this person. Like you can't, like I can't, I won't, I won't, I can't. Aries, your partner has the nine of swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is your partner being anxious, worried, stressed, replaying things over and over in their mind, losing sleep at night, worried about something. So Aries, your partner's all up in the head, stressing, worried, anxious, depressed, can't eat, can't sleep, can't walk down the street. Clarify the nine of swords for Aries, partner. Clarify the nine of swords for Aries, partner. Clarify the nine of swords for Aries, partner. It is clarified with the three of wands. Aries, Leo or Sag. This is your partner waiting, waiting for their ships to come in, waiting for what they set their intentions towards to manifest. Now, this is also a card of your partner looking to see what else is out there, looking to expand. So, Aries, listen. <clears throat> Aries, your partner could tell me that I'm anxious. Because I'm waiting. I'm expecting Aries to come in here. Because it seems like they're trying to apologize to you and wanting to start over. But I feel like it's a no-go. You said it's a no-go. And Aries, I also feel like it's bothering them. They're all up in their head because they did look to see what else is out there. And it could be at a distance, some type of travel. They did. And you found out. So now they're, it's, it's just like, like. Not just one door closed, like two doors, just closed here, Aries. Hmm. So Aries, listen. I feel like your partner wanted to be persistent here. I feel like they wanted to come in to make something happen here. But I feel like they got a shocker, okay? Because I feel like you're saying no, 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 no way. A decision was made. I feel like you made a decision, Aries. Aries, this is your January 2022 reading. You guys give me feedback, subscribe, like, comment, and share. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace.